In this video, you will learn about the components and assembly procedures to prepare the Enhanced Combat Helmet for use with an AN PSQ-20 or 20A Enhanced Night Vision Goggle. Regardless of which ENVG, the 20 or the 20A, the components are the ECH, the ECH PSQ-20 mounting bracket, part number 281840, and the provided ENVG helmet cover with the cutout in the front and the battery flap in the back. The ENVG mounting bracket has a wing-like feature on the rear battery housing. The front bracket has a single hole stamped through the face of the bracket, and stabilizing fingers to secure the bracket to the rim of the helmet. The other component is the ECH, or ACH20 or 20A ballistic screw. These screws have an oval shaped head which can be light gray or dark gray in color. The thread portion of the screw is bare metal. The shank may be bare metal or painted. This is how to assemble the ECH PSQ-20 bracket to the ECH with the proper PSQ-20 or 20A ballistic screw as identified in the previous section. Ensure that the enhanced combat helmet is partially assembled with the pad suspension system and retention system. Note, the helmet cover is installed after bracket installation. Remove the front and back trapezoidal pads and the center circular crown pad to allow easy access to the ENVG and battery housing mounting locations, as well as to enable routing of the ribbon cable. Ensure that the ribbon cable is properly aligned in the cable chase. Align the stabilizing fingers with the rim of the helmet, and hold the mounting bracket flush against the helmet centered on the mounting hole. Take the ballistic screw and pass it through the mounting hole from the outside of the helmet, rotating it so that the flat sides align with the face plate of the bracket. Place the nylon washer on the protruding screw threads inside the helmet and manipulate the bracket and screw with your fingers until you can start threading the nut onto the screw. If insufficient threads protrude to allow threading of the nut onto the ballistic screw, then replace the ACH ballistic screw with the ECH ballistic screw, which is longer. Once the screw is engaged with the threads of the nut, use a 3 8 inch socket or end wrench to tighten the nut until the mount is secure. Do not tighten beyond the point where the ballistic screw tip is flush with the outside edge of the securing nut. If additional tightening is required to properly secure the bracket, replace the longer ECH screw with the shorter ACH screw. Warning: Protruding screw threads present a potential injury hazard, especially during high-risk operations such as air assault. Pass the rear mounting battery bracket through the gap between the comfort nape pad and the rim of the helmet. Take a standard flat tip screwdriver and remove the screw securing the rear attachment points for the improved retention system. Ensure that the ribbon cable is properly aligned in the cable chase. Align the cable chase with the rear benchmark and hold the rear mounting battery bracket flush against the helmet and aligned with the rear attachment point for the improved retention system. Pass the improved retention system mounting screws through the rear battery bracket mounting slots 
into the attachment points for the improved retention system. Carefully rotating the screw until it is threaded onto the retention system receptacle on the interior of the helmet. Repeat this process for both rear improved retention system screws. Taking a coin or flat tip screwdriver, tighten the improved retention system bolts until snug and secure. Align the ribbon cable against the interior surface of the helmet so that it is flush. Take the circular crown pad and place it into the helmet with the center aligned with the cross-shaped benchmark inside the helmet. Take the rear trapezoidal pad and insert it into the helmet with the thinnest portion of the pad oriented toward the inside of the helmet and the widest portion of the pad carefully aligned with the rim of the helmet. Repeat the same process for the front trapezoidal pad, taking care to ensure that the front trapezoidal pad covers the ballistic screw and is aligned with the rim of the helmet. Install the provided ENVG helmet cover.